Where do we come from? How did the universe come into being? And what actually happened before that? Well, as we know, most experts assume that it all began with the much-quoted Big Bang. But in truth, the Big Bang is now increasingly being called into question. It is possible that our cosmos is subject to an eternal cycle of destruction and rebirth, that we're part of a much larger multiverse, or that we are even inside a black hole. Today, we'll show you some exciting alternative theories about the cosmic beginning of everything and what scientists believe may have happened before the Big Bang. So be sure to stay tuned until the end if you want to know which theories are currently overtaking the Big Bang Theory. The matter seems clear. After all, the cosmological consensus states that the universe literally exploded into existence about 13.8 billion years ago. More precisely, our cosmic home was in an infinitely dense and hot state, a so-called singularity, before it suddenly began to expand. The Big Bang released space, time, matter, and energy, literally paving the way for everything that exists today. But this naturally raises the question of how we know this, and the answer was provided by an astronomical revolution. According to this, a certain Edwin Hubble realized in the 1920s that the universe is by no means static, as previously assumed, but rather a construct that is expanding spatially. However, the universe is not growing into an already existing space. Rather, it is space itself that is constantly expanding. And if we now look at the observed development of the expanding universe in reverse, we eventually arrive at a point where the density of matter and energy becomes infinite and all spatial distances become zero. We have thus reached the cosmic starting point and even found outstanding evidence for the Big Bang Theory. In the 1960s, Astronomers discovered uniform, weak microwave radiation coming from all directions in the universe, which corresponds to the echo of the early cosmos and supports the assumption of a hot, dense initial phase. Okay, but what actually came before that? Was there anything at all before the Big Bang? That always depends on who you ask. Stephen Hawking was firmly convinced that nothing could have existed before the Big Bang. In detail, the genius, who died in 2018, stated that the boundary of the universe is defined by the fact that it has no boundary. According to this, space-time is a closed surface that has no end. We can imagine that the beginning of time lies at the South Pole, that is, at a flat point in space-time where the normal laws of physics prevail. Hawking compared asking what came before the Big Bang to asking what lies south of the South Pole, and in both cases, you get the same answer nothing at all. However, there are also experts who reject this idea and even question the Big Bang theory itself. They do so for the simple reason that the Big Bang is still shrouded in mystery. After all, what caused something to suddenly emerge from nothing 13.8 billion years ago? How is it even possible for something to form from nothing? How was the tiny primordial germ of the cosmos formed? And was the entire process subject to a higher trigger, or was it all just pure coincidence? And what about the missing time, those tiny fractions of a second in which the primordial cosmos must have expanded at breakneck speed? Exactly how this process took place, and whether this cosmic inflation really happened, is anything but clear. And of course, the mysterious findings of the James Webb Telescope are also contributing to the destabilization of our cosmological worldview. Webb has now repeatedly detected very early galaxies that appear far too massive for their age of a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Since, according to our current knowledge, there simply was not enough normal matter at that time to form such galactic heavyweights, they contradict virtually all assumptions of conventional cosmology and, strictly speaking, should not exist at all. In light of this, it's not really surprising that more and more experts are currently abandoning the Big Bang Theory and looking for alternative explanations instead. One of these is based on the thrilling assumption that our cosmos is undergoing an eternal cycle of destruction and rebirth. The End as the Beginning Regardless of whether it is the Big Rip, the Big Chill, or the Big Crunch, even if the individual theories differ in some details, they all lead to the same scenario, namely, the end of the universe. The Big Crunch, for example, predicts that one day in the distant future, 
the cosmos will collapse under the force of gravity until it finally ends in a kind of reverse Big Bang. The question that arises at this point is comparable to the question of what came before the beginning. What actually comes after the end? Well, while some researchers once again answer this question with nothing, the opposing side, led by British Nobel Prize winning physicist Roger Penrose, responds with a new beginning. The starting point of the cyclical model is as follows. What if we consider the end of the universe as the beginning of a new universe in which the scales are enlarged by several orders of magnitude, just as a few zeros were dropped during the inflation of the 1920s so that a loaf of bread no longer cost a few billion Reichsmarks? The gigantic cosmos can also be shrunk in space and time by redefining the scales of time and distance. Since the reduced wavelengths of radiation then correspond to much higher temperatures, we would have a new Big Bang. The cycle can repeat itself infinitely. It is always set one scale level higher. And in fact, the cyclical model even has a fundamental advantage over conventional Big Bang theory. According to the latter, the cosmos would have had to have had infinite density at time zero, and that is, to put it mildly, somewhat problematic. More precisely, this would be in stark contradiction to the so-called uncertainty principle of quantum mechanics. But that's not all. For in the same breath, the singularity embodies a state in which the known laws of physics, in particular the general theory of relativity, fail due to the infinity of certain quantities. However, the cycle model circumvents this hurdle by basing itself on a quantization of space-time, which, simply put, means that the problematic singularity is avoided in this way. Of Multiverses and Black Holes Penrose actually claims to have found solid proof for his theory. A series of mysterious signatures in cosmic microwave background radiation, which are said to represent Hawking points. These represent the total energy emitted by a supermassive black hole from the precursor universe, which is carried over into the next cosmos. However, this interpretation is not free from criticism. But then neither are the other alternatives to the Big Bang. Back in the 1980s, Russian researcher Andrei Lin suggested that there is no such thing as a single universe. Instead, the cosmos continues to expand eternally in an inflationary process that only comes to a halt in a few bubble-like sub-areas. Consequently, it is conceivable that each cosmic bubble forms its own universe, whereby the individual sub-universes may even contain individual values of the natural constants and thus different physical laws. In this scenario, our world would be just one of many, and our universe merely a tiny mosaic piece in an infinite multiverse. Nikodem Poplowski from the University of New Haven also believes that the Big Bang did not happen as commonly assumed, and that something existed before it. The theoretical physicist is certain that our cosmos originated inside a black hole. These bizarre gravitational monsters are generally known for irretrievably absorbing everything that comes too close to their event horizon. But what really lies at the heart of a black hole is one of the biggest questions in current research. According to Poplowski, however, the answer can only be a cosmic primordial seed. The matter inside a black hole would eventually reach a point where it could not be compressed any further. And although the seed may be incredibly tiny, it weighs several billion times the mass of the sun. Since black holes rotate at nearly the speed of light, enormous torsional forces act on the seed. As a result, it is not only compressed, but also twisted in on itself, just like a joke snake waiting to spring out of a can. Ultimately, the seed in the black hole could literally burst open and set in motion the creation of a new universe. However, we would then be dealing with a cosmic gateway that can only be passed through from one side. And if a person falls into a black hole in the Milky Way, it is conceivable that they, or what is left of them, could emerge in another cosmos. The bottom line is that our own universe could be the result of another previous cosmos. While the seed of this mother universe grew inside a black hole, it burst open 13.8 billion years ago and has been expanding ever since which means that we may still be hiding behind the event horizon of a black hole. And the subscribe button could even still be hidden beneath the event horizon of our video. 
Simply click on the thumbs up and then subscribe to never miss another post from us. See you soon.